Welcome to Movilizer. In this video, we would like to show you how you can build movelets using the Java connector. The first thing we do is to uncompress the Movilizer Java connector zip file. As you can see, four folders are created. We will see them in detail on our IDE. For this example, we will be using Eclipse as our IDE, but of course, you can use any tool you like. We create a new workspace to build everything from scratch. The preconditions are that Java JDK 7 is installed on the machine, and also Maven for your convenience. The distributed Movilizer Java connector is a Maven project with multiple modules, so we import them into our workspace as an existing Maven project. Just add the whole folder and everything will be loaded. After Eclipse loads all source files, we will find four projects. My file connector. This will be your Movelet project. We provide this one as an example for the connector. Movilizer Web Service. This project is in charge of the communication with the cloud. Movilizer Utils. This contains the configuration files for the connector as well as some useful utilities. Build All is just an empty Maven built to ease the compilation of the whole solution. In order to configure the connector, you have to access the Movilizer Utils project source forward slash main forward slash resources configuration XML file. In this configuration XML file, you'll find all the parameters to configure the connector. DB Connections is used to connect your database provider of choice. We won't use a database provider for this example. Under the Movilizer section, you'll find settings for the push, pull, movelet and system parameters. The first one you should modify is the system ID and password for your Movilizer environment. You may leave the rest of the configuration as is for the scope of this video. The other file that needs to be changed is the user XML file. You'll need to use this file to define the participants for your movelets. As you can see, there is a user section on the file and an entry for user for every participant on the system. We will remove one of the participants and configure the remaining one properly to receive our movelet. We set the correct phone number for the participant and his status as pending just to inform ourselves that it has not received the movelet yet. On the My File Connector project, you'll find an source forward slash main forward slash resources directory. Inside, you'll put the Movelet templates you create with the portal. To learn how to create Movelets in the Movilizer portal, please watch the corresponding video on our YouTube channel. Instead of the usual XML extension for the Movelets, we have a VM since the Movilizer Java connector uses Velocity as a template manager for the Movelets. As you see on the file survey VM file, the second line is used to tie this template with a Java class. This class will be the data provider and will be used by Velocity to fill data into the final XML movelet. Velocity has its own syntax. You may check your documentation for more information. With it, you can reference variables or do loops. On this example, we have created a Velocity for each loop on our answers and will fill it with the content of a text file. On the source forward slash main forward slash java, we have a package with the data provider class, file survey data. This class, as described before, is in charge of providing data to the template. 
It just needs to implement the interface, iMovelet data provider, and you may obtain the data from any data source you wish. Push Runner Java is in charge of sending data to the cloud. For example, the red questions method will read a file located here. For each line on that file, a new Movalizer answer will be created on the template. Here you can see the questions text file. We are adding two more answers to our movelet. In order to build the project, you may use the build all project. Just make a maven install with it and everything should be compiled properly. To test our movelet, we execute the push runner Java class as it has the main method. This pushes our template movelet to the cloud, generated with velocity and data provider, and assigned to the users in the user XML file with the configuration on the configuration XML file. On our Swing client, we synchronize with the cloud and download our movelet. Upon its execution, you'll see that all the answers from the questions file are created. After filling the answers with data and sync the client, the data is sent back to the cloud. This is all for a quick demo of the Movalizer Java connector. Thank you for watching.